Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Metal 7 Gaming, and we are back with some more Baldur's Gate 3. So we may have found the Goblin Camp. I'm not sure. We got some lovely little butterflies there. Last time, as you recall, our camera got jammed up on the dead guy inside the door there. And it seems to have fixed that, which is lovely. Uh, we didn't loot everybody. I'm going to go ahead and split you, you off. I'm going to ask you to run up here and loot that guy. Everybody else, like will be done. I want to run inside this door here. I could have sworn I looted that guy, but clearly not. All right, let's click back to here. Uh, yes, please. And it may just be reloading the computer has cleared that. No, we didn't. We didn't get what we needed. Um, and then here and here. <laughs> Ooh, fire arrow. I like that. Some small bottles. What do we get? Ray of Sickness. Scroll of Sleep. A Ritual Staff. Eh. A is for Azoth and other gods. Some food. Okay. That's everybody that was on the roof. May as well come down here and loot the bodies down here as well. Uh, I didn't say to jump, but okay. I think the ladder would have been fine. You didn't need to take damage. That's a... I was going to say a little annoying, but I'm going to change that to a lot annoying. Okay. Water. Lovely. Can you get there? Hold on, hold on. Go, come, come to here, and then see, can you jump to there? No. Okay. Easy enough. Let's just put you back in the group. And you are encumbered at the moment, so let's go ahead and see what's doing that to you. Um, it's probably not helping. We'll go ahead and push that over here for now. And uh, you were the one that wanted to put that helmet. And we'll give you the gold. And we'll keep giving you the gold. Come on. Look. This inventory is not terribly... Um, Responsive. You can click stuff, and it looks like it's doing something, but it's not actually doing something. I mean, he doesn't really have a lot on him. I'm not really sure. Uh, we don't need this quarter staff. We don't need this quarter staff. Morning star's worth a little bit. We'll hang on to that. Uh, we don't need a pickaxe. There we go. Is that a little bit better? Ooh. Rage and despair. Okay. So we know we've got a guy in here somewhere. Private thoughts of an ambitious apprentice. Uh, is the guy we killed in here? Yes. So let's come and let's come and loot this guy. Let's change characters. So that's progress. There we go. Somebody's got a little bit more. Huh. Just a torch. We'll take the money. Goblin tracker, spear, battle axe, old key. There's a key down here somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. Oh, there it is on top of the. Might be useful. Deal there. Let's grab that. Okay, well, that seemed a little bit. I mean, we didn't need to jump up there. Not worth anything. Rum? Wine? Sure. A small bottle of mysterious liquid? Battle axe and a spear I think we can do without. Ooh, what's that? Um, that kind of scares me, if I'm honest. Um, that looks like the thing that big spiders are going to come out of, but maybe there's some stairs somewhere? You can carry me. Uh, anything else in here that we care about? I don't think so. All right, so now let me um let me put everybody just right here for the moment. Is there a door like an entrance down here? Oh, there is. Oh wait, there we go. Maybe that's what this key's for. Use. I'll give it a shot. There we go. Oh. 
disarm toolkit we'll grab. Um, wherever it might be. There we go. That's it. And the battle... No, nothing on the bottle rack. And there could be all sorts of stuff in these, but I'm going to not dig through all of them right now, just in the interest of time. Um, I'm holding all the nothings popping up, so I'm assuming that means there's nothing important in here. At the ready. Uh, and now I'm going to start to crouch. Let's not get caught off guard. It's clearly under the floor there that we could see earlier. Hammer. Bottle rack? I will look. Let's see what this does. The Approachable East, Volume 6. Wooden chests, some torches. Pretty cool little uh, blacksmith shop down here, huh? Oh, uh, that doesn't look good. Can we can we destroy that? Here, I'm gonna unsee everybody. There is work to do. I'm gonna try to unsee everybody. Oh, there we go. We found it. We found it. Somebody found it. Is it just invisible? So we know there's a secret door there. Uh, failed investigation. Succeeded investigation check. Okay, so we got that. Can we move anybody else in? Does anybody else get an investigation check? Can't How about Shadowheart? No. Nope. So Lizelle's the one that found it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have to we'll have to see. Check this. Oh wait, that hurt. Gold. Okay. It's a story item. Um, maybe we'll go... Ah, oh, dang it. I think... Is there more out there? I think what we did was... We just broke that. We could have jumped up there and gotten up there, but because we popped the trap... We can't. Can we jump on top of that? Oh, we can get up there. No, we can't. Um, can we move a box? Certainly. No, hold on. Can I climb on? Can I pick up? And then go bring it over here. And then drop. And then climb on. And then jump. Not for you. What if we go to Lizette? Lizette. Come on. There you go. Just climb on. She can jump more. Oh, okay. Well, easier. A spear. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's pick up. Then let's come down. Then let's drop the chest. There we go. Then let's get back to our dude here. And we will lockpick. We need a 14. Add some guidance. See what we can get. Oh, it was a 15 right until it didn't matter. Oh, we still got it. There we go. Beauty.
Oh. Steel forged. Aren't most swords steel forged? I mean, I'm just saying. Um, it has flourish and piercing strike. Oh, it's light and finesse. That will work for him. Okay. Uncommon martial melee weapon. It, it does say he can use it. Though the grips uh, shows no sign of wear, not a single scratch mars the blade. So it's light, finesse, dippable, same as our short sword. 1d6 plus 1, whereas the short sword does 1d6. They both have flourish, they both have piercing strike. So it's essentially a plus 1 short sword. Um, there we go. Cool. And then we've got this, and I don't know how to I don't know how to open it. Could we attack it? Let's go to um Lazel. Let's go. I could use uh Mage Hand to bring that chest down too, damn it. Um let's just go here. Here. Immune to slashing damage. What if we move everybody back? What to do? And then we go here. Here. Immune to fire damage. No, don't talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. How do I just say no? I don't want to talk to anything. Can I not do that? Okay. Um, what was that strange magic you displayed before? I, I don't know. Something to do with the tadpole. Who's to say? Another mystery to add to the pile. Ah, uh, okay. That's fine. I'm just trying to, um, uh, uh, yeah, know the feeling. There must be something you can tell me. Some way of coping. What it's not really what I was trying to do. I'm sorry for extra dialogue. Power's power, even if it's a little chaotic. No. If I can't understand it, it's nothing but a liability. But thank you, all the same. I know you're just trying to help. All right, there we go. Um, what I'm trying to do is find somebody that has a different weapon that maybe it's not immune to. Bludgeoning, you know. There we go. There we go. Let's just keep doing that. Nice. Can we crawl through now? Let's uh, switch to somebody with good night vision. Oh, survival failed. That's not good. Oh, but she got it. So giant, giant spider webs. Um, okay. I mean, we saw the webs covering the the, the things. So it doesn't really surprise me. Ah, uh, Nettie, Sousa, Mole, if Yankee can't patrol. Um. What the heck? This is huge. All right, let's um, let's not do that now because we're already in kind of tough shape. We know it's there. If we decide to come back for it, we can. But for the moment, Let's hold off. Um, I'm going to cast a heal on you. And then a smaller heal on you. And then I think that will be okay. Alright, so we know there were some dudes over here. Uh, we haven't actually looked at this yet, have we? A step forward. Oh, I'm gonna come over here and hopefully grab this without setting anybody off. Cause I know there's him. 
All right, one more thing fixed. Fixed. <laughs> fixed, fixed, whatever. Come on. The Wonders of Faladin, another book. House of Prayer. A rustic chest. I'm gonna walk out this way. These boots have seen everything. Oh, hold on. Let's check this shabby door first. Oh, it just goes into there. Never mind. Oh, okay. Well, we can do that. Let's climb back down, though. Let's not jump it. Let's just walk. I'm going to grab some food. Check out this skeleton. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. You sent from Moonrise, Drow. That was fast. I'll have to cut you. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Okay. Um. Okay, we'll get good bonuses with deception. I like that. Intimidation, not as much. Persuasion. Um. We could do that. I mean, clearly that's the one that just lets us... Well, it says it's a wisdom check, though. I'm going to go for deception. Uh, we don't... 50-50, we get a plus 5. Yeah, that's not going to do it. I guess we're fighting our way through this. I have to take that lying tongue from you. I saw him and was going to stealth, but uh, it didn't quite work that way. Um, all right, so I'm going to come to here, maybe, and we will take a shot. Here, maybe we'll do an arrow acid. Okay, that was something. And then we'll go to her. Um, can she maybe jump to here? And then walk to here. And then shoot him. And then hopefully the acid will do one damage. Nope. But he did just dash, so we should be able to kill him. Oh, okay. Uh, an illusion, I'm hoping. But uh, I suppose we'll just... Uh, Jump and smack it? What's that? Um... It only has ten. And I'm gonna use my action surge. And just finish him. And then, oh, how much health does he have? Well, two D eight. Let's go for thunder. There we go. Twenty-five more XP. Uh, a helmet, hand axe. I don't think anybody needs a helmet. I'm going to take it. I don't think we need a hand axe either, so I'm going to leave that. But just in case somebody does need a helmet, we can do that. Um, equipped. You don't have one, but I don't think you need one. You could use one. Uh, damage headpiece. Protects against critical hits. Yeah. That'll be good. Okay. Lump the Enlightened. Chalk. And, and Fank. Okay, well. Um, good to know they're there. I'd kind of like to avoid them for a little while. 
Let's go back to Stealth. Um, Stealth. There we go. <laughs> Only one person. It's funny, I didn't hit it for him, but when I selected him, it happened. So, all right, let's let's sneak sneak past these guys. Okay, let's go back to stealth. That worked out well. Ah, the faded ghost of fun. Goblin scimitar, leather helmet. What does a leather helmet do? Dexterity saving throws. Yeah. Not proficient. Never mind. Never mind. Apart from an overgrowth of moss, the well looks unremarkable. Okay. Uh, investigate. Uh, plus one from intelligence. I mean, I guess. Good, we made it. Wasted spell, but we're gonna sleep soon. I'm. I'm. Uh, we've had a few fights already. My stones line the wall. At the bottom. Something gleams in the dappled light. In the dappled light. Uh I'm gonna throw a coin down the well. Disappears into the darkness, landing with a soft. I just wanted to make sure that some trap wasn't going to. Uh, get us right there. Okay, we're back in the glitz. We're back where we were. Oh, hold on. No, this is what we want. Studded shield. Uh, I'm assuming if we grab that, a big giant spider is going to come down and get us. And again, we are not ready for spiders yet. So we know that there's another route in. We're going to climb back up. Maybe. There we go. Everybody still stealthed? Um, are you stealthed? You've got guidance up, so you're not stealthed. But that's okay. We are going to stealth, and I don't care if you lose concentration for it. I don't see any more bad guys out there. We've got a couple up here. That's the boss. We're looking for... our buddy. Well, he doesn't know he's our buddy, but we're looking for the, the druid. It's a lot of fish. Oh, there's a lot of people up there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I see seven dots. So three there, four there. What are they talking about? Spin, spin good. They just like watching that spin? Can we come in from inside? Is there something going on in here? Hmm, is there a way over here? I'm trying to see if there's a way we could sneak in over there. Okay, we could we could start the fight if we need to by killing him. Wow, that city goes on forever. They did really good sized maps here. I'm really, really impressed with this. We know the ogres are in there somewhere. Actually, I'm going to go this way. And again, we're going to need to... Uh... Somebody's dead over here. 
Alright, there the body just showed up. Looks like there was some sort of fight down there. Uh, just in case we have to tell somebody he's dead. Okay, so I don't see an easy way there, but maybe from this side we could get up there. So the question is why my camera won't move. Well, we, hmm, we might be able to. Let's go to Lazelle. I'm going to hit F5 real quick. Let's do a quick save. Let's see if it's possible to jump up there. Nope, it's going to say... Okay, not enough space. Even though it's more space than we've had elsewhere, it's that's fine. Oh, I want to go down here, actually. I know I was going to I was gonna wrap around there and see if we could get in there. Take care of that section, but... Um, see if there's any remnants from anything down here. Potentially something there. Oh yeah, bag. Okay. Okay. Unheard, unseen. I wish I had a little more camera control. I'd like to see What's up, right? We've got a ladder up there. My question is, where? what could I do if I was up there? Could we bypass the ogres that way? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and tell us to go to here. For now. And I'm going to try to come out and see if we can find a way around that group of seven. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, there's more. <laughs> level two. Level three. Level two. Level two. Okay, a lot of level twos. There are a couple level ones in here. A couple pickpockets. But there's a lot of dudes in there. If we can get around this way, maybe we'd have better luck figuring out what's going on. Um, let's open the gate. Hmm. It's the way we climbed up, right? Have we looked in here? Let's look in here first, before we go too much farther. Little camp section up there. There's somebody in there. Approach. A guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattled the door. I saw the red from their viewpoint as we were stealthing. Someone or something. Well, hopefully that's our guy. We might have been able to just sneak up, get through there. Leave it. Whoever's inside doesn't want to. I want to fight. And I we can handle fight. a few. I just don't want to handle eight or nine. Um, apologies. Oh, the couple. Um, uh, okay. Um, apologies. Didn't mean to interrupt. Smash. Oh, smash. Aww, we are the bad guys. We killed them. We killed the owl bear mother, and now, now this. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Uh, She's got 59 hit points. She's level 4. I can't apparently see. There he is. He's level 3, so I think we start with him. So I'm going to go ahead.
Um, hmm. This was a bigger fight than I wanted. I'll be honest with you. Let's F5 it, just in case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do Blade Ward on her. Uh, no, I didn't want it on me. Fine, fine. Let me step out of the way then. It was supposed to be on her. Um, how about an alchemist fire? Can I throw it? Yes. Oh, okay. That worked out well. Um, and... The rest of the turn. Okay, well, I don't need that this turn. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna step back. All right, Boother comes out. It's not really who I wanted, but we do get our uh, repost there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do. right there. So now I'm going to switch to this weapon. Oh, I can't do anything. Um, I'm just going to rotate to here. Okay. Rupak takes some damage. He jumps over there. There's a dead body there somewhere. All right, well, he took his time, so he he didn't get out of there. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I've got a scroll of Burning Hands. That was a lot. And, uh... I guess that's it for you. You are going to get a sneak attack bow. Okay. You are going to prepare. And then, I guess just a regular attack. Oh, and then a regular attack. That's not too bad. We just have to live this. Okay, we took 11, got knocked down, that's fine. We get up again. Never gonna keep me down. Did she miss? No, she did seven. I was gonna say, come on now. That would that would really, really suck. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do a regular heal on you. All right. Ruko's coming out. Oh, look at that. The post is gonna, it's just nuts. All right, and we've got another uh, sneak attack here to hopefully finish off Blue here for two. Except he missed. He missed. Oh, you, that stinks. Um, okay, whatever. Firebolt. Good, good. Uh, and just a regular attack. Got him. That went much, much better than I thought it was going to, if I'm honest. Oh, now she has something to talk about. Well, that was unnecessary. Were you jealous of them or something? Um, we were lucky to have witnessed such a rare sight. <laughs> Your curiosity could have turned very unhealthy if that fight hadn't gone our way. All right, we are looking for somebody who might be being tortured by people, so you know. Time to pack it in Morning Star, day, I, think. I do like Morning Stars, but we don't need one. Grease bottle, that might work well. If not over, then through. There's a body over here, mangled corpse. A is for Azoth and other gods too. Oh, some jade and agate. 
Okay, well, let's come over here and grab some will fit in my pack. free money. So now we can't get to it because we're standing on it. There we go. Oh, some ash. Some more ash. Nothing we need. Let's have a look. Oh. Uh, anything in this one? What's hiding here? Now, I'm going to uh, climb up to here. Because we can. And I think this is a good spot to rest. Anything in the crate? It looks empty. Let me click it again. It looks empty. Empty. Okay. Rotting basket. Yeah. All right. Somebody's old camp spot. But you know what? It's our campsite now. Oh, mugwort. Let's grab that. Dagger and roasted meat. I didn't expect that to start this. Oh, there's a nice... Uh, Dagger. Notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Um, sleight of hand. Okay. Let's do an investigation first. Did you see it was 15? And I'm like, yeah, we did it. And it's like, yeah, no, sir. Okay, that's fine. That's the fine. Is tightly embedded in the carcass. You notice, you notice nothing unusual. Yeah, it is. We're going to try sleight of hand. We need a 15. We're going to add all the bonuses we can because we are about to rest. There we go. Now we see if we die. Cautious method pays Dagger side smoothly out of the mystery meat. Smoothly out of the mystery meat. Okay. It's an odd little cutscene, but let's check out our new fancy dagger. Uh, I just hit I. Let's try it again. Um. One d four plus one has some sort. It's just a plus one, I guess. Um, you know, he could use it, but he's already got a plus, that plus one sword. So I guess we just hang on to it for the moment. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and I'm just going to go ahead and rest. We've got plenty of food, I believe. I say that, but I'm not actually sure. Um, all right, Lizelle wants to talk. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze... Oh, uh-oh. The romance for Lizelle, if you want it. Hideous, all of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Um, what do you mean by the tears? Look above, watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it, rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. That's pretty cool. Are all the Githyanki from the tears? Curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in creches all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vash's command. Charming. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a creche. All right, nobody else is talking. Let's go for it. Uh, well, yeah, we still we're still doing okay. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams. Oh, here we go. All right, flitting between nightmares. Okay. Maybe you wake up because you know something's wrong. Maybe you just got lucky. Lash out with your elbow. Ah, you. Oh, you. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, oh, okay. Well, he's trying to. Well, there in dim firelight, you see him for what. I'm sure there's supposed to be more to this cutscene than this, and we're not getting it. But that's okay. We're we're talking to him. What are you? Oh no, there's no need for that. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. It's not what you think. 
I'm not some monster. Ah, uh, well, we are kind kind of are. I mean, that's kind of the point. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now, too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. No, I mean, I don't think we need it. I mean, we know he's what well, he is, what he is. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. Yeah, I mean... No. I needed you to trust me. You tried to bite me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Okay. Please. Only be a taste. I swear. I'll be well. You'll be fine. Go too far, I'll drive a stake through your chest. Ah, of course. I didn't expect I this here at the end. So, I mean, I guess that makes a, a good Let's fitting end here. Make yourselves comfortable. He holds you carefully, delicately, until he strikes. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. You do persuade. Now we'll just let it go. You lean into him, losing yourself. Good, but uh, uh, I think that's probably an racing, coursing through both. We'll take the roll. We may not get it this time. Just barely. Of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Yeah. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. His guards down, grab his stake, and drive it through his heart. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Fair enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Better not, or there'll be a stake in your future. All right, and I am now bloodless. Feels woozy, minus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and most ability checks. That's not great. Hey, we got the dog! With haste. Hey, Scratch! Who's a good boy? The dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. Uh... He can keep the ball. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up. Oh, well... Yeah, we'll finish this discussion later. Anyway, thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with some more Baldur's Gate 3. Cheers.